Hey guys, this is Joey here, founder and chief trainer at Trading Impossible. So today I'd like to go through this counter called Noble Group. Now let's go through you know some of the reasons why I issue certain you know calls. But you can see that mainly for this it has been moving down, you know, since uh you know June 2014, it's been trending down. So let's just go through the chart and you'll see what, what are some top process that goes through on my, my mind whenever I issue any of those calls, right? So let's just draw some you know as usual support and resistance lines. You really get a feel of this chart right so it has been uh, moving up okay it has been moving up you can see from february 2014 to 18 september 2014 right over here and then it started to weaken so that's when the trend started to train to change right okay um how, how we can see a trend change there's another way one of them is using moving averages so you can see that the price has been trading above the 100 days and 200 days moving average you know from this period onwards it has been moving upwards so from here to here we can say that you know the trend is pretty much safe uh, it's pretty good there's a, a pretty good uh, upward trend okay but just at this moment it started to consolidate so let's just draw some support and resistance line right over here okay we are seeing some support right over here at about the 130 to 132 level okay and it consolidated sideways you know just slightly below that 150 level okay but it couldn't break above that 150 level right so it started to consolidate okay and um for from from may 2014 to september 2014 so at this point in time you can see that as it consolidated sideways okay the price started to you know cross below the 100 days moving averages so it started to break below so what happens was it broke below that key support you know may to um september it's about you know four months support level so it kind of broke, broke below that uh, support level below that 132 level and started to weaken right so the trend started to change you can see that the 20 day moving average starts to point down you know 100, day, 100 days moving average starts to point down as well and the 200 days moving average you know it is slowly flattening out and price has actually crossed below the 200 days moving average so this is one of the sign that the trend is reversing so if you have any long position right over here i mean perhaps you thought that uh, it could go up some more if it was to break above 150 so you might want to scale in some long positions from maybe 131 132 133 you wanted to catch the rebound and enter and probably sell somewhere at the top but however it did not happen you know, it broke below that 130 and the trend started to weaken so you if you have any long position then you might you, you probably would have get out you know below 130 probably 128 127 it does not matter okay so once it broke below 130 and you can see that moving averages are all started to point down you can see the trend has started to move downwards right so from from october 2014 you know all the way to somewhere around may or june 2015 you can see that yeah it has been trading in a rather volatile manner but all this time you know it actually been it's actually traded below that 100 day moving average okay and below that 200 days moving average so anytime that the stock were to move or trade below that 100 day and 200 day moving average you know, we can say that the trend has kind of reversed so we need to be careful we have any long position so we want to get out and and you know instead right the downside you know so let's just draw some support and resistance line again over here okay okay there's some support probably at probably at about the 120 level okay let's just draw some lines again and somewhere around um okay i'll just explain later why i draw certain lines okay and we can see that yep somewhere around the 9 to to okay somewhere around here what about here we are seeing some support around the 80 cent mark as well okay and any support here yep, somewhere around the 64 okay and 0 0.38 okay so you can see that right over here uh it was to go down okay so you actually traded all the way down and hit the 90 cent to 92 mark rebounded okay and it, it kind of touched the 100 days moving average but we traced back down so you can see some pre bearish uh, candlestick you know and it came all the way down back to support 90 cent the consolidated and moved down so generally the trend is moving down so whenever the trend is moving down you know, we want to ride the trend we do not want to hold long positions in the downtrend okay so if you have any long position you want to get out right so we are more looking into 
uh, having CFD sell position so it's harder to be wrong when you are with the trend right so in, instead I mean of course you can catch rebounds like that I mean probably you can actually catch a buy and rebound back to uh, 120 yes so you can catch from one dollar to 120 rebound i mean that's a pretty good uh you know 20 cent rebound but generally the trend is still down right so we want to you know instead have cfd sell positions whenever you know able to rebound to any key resistance level and unable to break through right and uh, probably when we were to break below any key support we can add on to more cfd sell position to really you know leverage fully and, and optimize the, the whole entire downside right so somewhere in march 2015 it, it kind of uh you know it, it, okay this was the support you can see that this uh 92 level to 95 it was supported around here supported so right over here it became the resistance. so yes it, it couldn't break above that um 95 to 92 level right you can see it consolidated for about a month okay uh, below 95 and couldn't break above and then it went lower again so the the range got you know lower and lower so from 95 now it, it went to 82 and you know it consolidated above that 80 to 82 level and finally 80 cents so you can see right over here there was a support in august 2013 was 80 cents and we extended the line and yes yeah, so 80 cents was the support right so yes it broke below the 80 cents i think there was a, a few sell calls that were issued right and yeah started to move down and hit the next support right at about 64 and rebounded back so now this 80 cent was the original support but it came it became the resistance so it kind of uh, retraced you know retraced back upwards okay but it couldn't even touch the 80 cent and came back down again so the downtrend continued so in moments like this you know when when downtrend is clearly in, in place yes we, we want to catch the reversal back down so whenever at this point in time you know when we see that it has consolidated slightly probably from uh you know above that 70 cent mark okay and it break back down below 70 cent you know yes we could probably write the downside again all the way right and all this while you can see from this moment right over here 20 days moving average has broken has, has broken across below that 200 days moving average this 100 days moving average has crossed below the 200 days moving average. you can see that all the short term moving average 20 is below 100 100 is below that 200 so all the shorter term moving averages are below the longer term moving average so the trend is clearly downwards right and yes we just fast forward to somewhere near what we're, what we're looking at today and it has you know broke below that 60 64 yes i think 64 was a pretty good support for about one to two months and yes it broke below hit down rebounded back up so yes every time, every time that it, it, it kind of like break the support we can see some heavy selling i mean the volume is strong but there is a, a chance for it to also rebound back up no but rebound back up doesn't mean rebound all the way you know, you rebound back probably to the, the level the original support level you can see that it touched you know went all the way up but closed lower so you can see that the sellers pretty much came back and took it all the way down so yes this 0.64 was the resistance level for this moment in, in july 2015 and then it consolidated as we can see from july to to december and all the way to the end of the year it consolidated pretty much from 0.38 right over here you can see that the low was 0.38 it touched touch touch kind of touch around here yeah so 0.38 to pretty much about you know 55 60 cent level Yep, so this, this was the consolidation range from July to the end of the year, you know, six months, six months consolidation, right? And all this while the trend is moving down. So yes, whenever it was to rebound and we see, we want to write the downside because I mean the trend is down. So we want to, you know, position ourselves. It's, it's harder to be wrong if we are in a sell position. So we catch, uh, for, for example, for this, let's say it rebounded and it consolidated above that 50 cent level and break down, break, break down below that 50 cent level. So that's why we want to write the downside again. Okay, back to 3.8. Okay, and yes, I mean, of course, if the 3.8 were to hold, you can po possibly cover back your short position around the 3.8. And I mean, if you want to catch the technical rebound, yes, you can probably scale some long positions uh, you know, from, from 0 0.3 onwards, you know, 3.8, 5, 3, 9, 3, 9, 5, and things like that. And yes, write the rebound again. The trend is still down so you know we might take profit along the way upwards okay and yes you can see that the range has again lowered again and it's now at the resistance from 65 have shifted down to below 50 cent it's now resistance is at about 
48 right from this period to this period November to December and yes finally what we are saying is that you know the 0 0.38 level which has held since August July you know, it did not hold so it broke below that 0 0.38 level right and yes it went all the way down to almost 30 cents so 30 cents would be the support for now and resistant I would say the range probably is uh, 30 cents to 0 0.34 to 35 yeah so if you were to stay below that 34 35 level and of course that 0 0.38 so 0 0.38 level you no know, it was the critical support and yeah it will now be quite a, a major resistance to take note so if you stay below that 38 to 35 level you know, we can safely say that the trend is still down right so we want to we can't even have CFD sell position able to you know some go somewhere near 0 0.35 to 0 0.38 right to write the downside back to 30 cents and if the 30 cents were to break lower okay if the 30 cents were to break lower okay we can probably see a new low to 20 cent 10 cents so when, when, when we're looking at charts and uh, you know and the trend is clear, clearly down okay um, we, we try we try not to to long and hope that it will recover all the way. I mean, those who have long positions all the way from September, October 2014, you can see it was like 120, 140, you know, $1.80. So you can see if you were to hold a position at 130 and it will come down to 30 cents now. Okay, 130 to 30 cents. I mean, it, it just is about $1, right? So if you were to hold on to a position, especially when it's moving down, no, we do not want to hold on to any position that's moving now. We do not even want to average, you know, buy when it's cheaper. We, do, we don't really like cheap things. You know, cheap can go cheaper. So instead, what we do is we go along with the trend. Okay, if the trend has clearly changed, indicators are looking uh, are, are looking weak. Okay, we, we write the trend. So we add our sell positions along the way. Right, so currently what we're seeing is 30 cents. If the 30 cents will not hold, you know, on, on a particular day, if you were to break below 30 cents, volume is strong and we combine some of the other indicators, you know, I'll talk more about these other indicators in subsequent videos, right? It can hit lower to 20 cents. So we do not know how low it is. I mean, when it was uh, probably at, at uh, when it was probably at 90 cents, you think that, you know, it's probably going to rebound back to $1, 120. But, you know, you can see that at this point in time, all the moving averages are pointing down, right? So uh, we, we do not want to to long when it's pointing down okay so yes the low can go lower you can see 90 cents it became 80 cents you probably think you can go back to one dollars but no 80 cents it went down 70 cents 60 cents 50 cents you know and currently it broke that 0 0.38 level okay so you know if, if it would go below 30 cents it can even go lower and you know if you have any long positions it's good to have a plan to really you know reduce your exposure right so i hope you have learned something from this video in terms of the trend in terms of support and resistance right so in subsequent videos i'll try to cover more on um uh, indicators and, and things like that okay so if you'd like to find out more in you know, a step-by-step structure how we actually you know analyze a stock or, or the stock trading blueprint it would be good to come for precision training intensive whereby i'll cover you know not just technical analysis but the full spectrum of psychology you know trading journal risk management and many other top strategies which um i will probably not review on on on, on videos like this so uh, probably if you can come to for some of the introductory seminars i will show you some of the explosive uh, trading strategy not not trend trading these are really explosive trading strategy whereby we catch uh, potentially up you know upward moving or downward moving stocks you know, that can that can uh, rip us you know 10 to 20 percent gain in a short period of time so i'll cover more of that um in 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 precision training intensive and probably in some of the introductory seminars so that's it for today's video so yes if you're holding noble you know it's good if you're holding a long position it's good to really have a plan to get out i mean we do not know if it can go lower to 10 cent 20 cent you know that's currently what we are saying now is the trend is clearly downwards right if it were to stay below that 38 to 35 level we're still negative right so if you are holding on to short position yeah that's good i think if you have shorted all the way down and, and added your short position i think you probably be you know laughing all the way to the bank like some of our um clients have you know in, in terms of uh, some of the sell calls that we issued right so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you have learned something thank you Thank <laughs> you.